Okay guys, we finally get to do the review of Star Wars Solo. So, would I really... Okay, let's talk about, um, first and foremost, let's talk about the good parts of the movie that I actually really enjoyed. Um, I thought the storyline was really interesting. I thought that it kind of went into more detail about his life growing up on the planet that he was from, um, how he basically got involved uh, to be a pilot, um, kind of gave a background story of basically the first love that he had. Uh, and the other thing I really enjoyed is it incorporated like some of the relationships that he developed with like saving Chewy, um, and and be you know having that friendship basically begin. Um, I liked the fact that the Millennium Falcon was a big part of the movie. Uh, I thought the battle scenes were really interesting, really great, well done. But there's one thing that I want to just say uh, as a Star Wars fan. Um, I believe that I felt like the movie wasn't very long. Um, I think that they could have done a little bit more with the storyline and, and progressing it further. Um, but I was very enthused with the characters in it. Um, I thought some of the humor in it was pretty, pretty outrageous. Um, other than that, I can't really complain. I thought it was a pretty decent movie as a Star Wars fan. Um, I would definitely say check it out. Um, it's definitely watchable. Um, now, so they've just announced that um, as actually this month, um, The Last Jedi will be available on Netflix, so you will be able to stream that and watch that. Um, so I kind of like that. I think that's a good idea. Um, and they're talking about doing a live action Star Wars TV series on the uh, D Disney streaming site, which will be available in 2019. They are already talking about it. Um, the Star Wars hotel and theme park is officially opened down in Orlando, Florida. Um, I think that's great for Star Wars fans. I can't believe that that's actually, you know, happening. I think that that should have happened years ago, in my opinion. Um, that's that's great. Um, now I know some people said, um, you know, terrible things about this movie, and and I didn't think anything bad of it at all. Honestly, I just thought it was a little short. I thought I was expecting it to be longer than what it was. Uh, but Woody Harrelson honestly did a great job in this movie. I was very impressed with his acting in this. Um, he was funny. He was outgoing. Um, kind of reminded me of how he was in the movie Zombieland, which, which is another movie you might want to check out with him in it. Um, he was also in Kingpin. Um, so many other movies that I can't list off right now off the top of my head, but there's just a few. Um, other than that, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I think they did a decent job on it. Um, I know some people give, um, you know, this movie bad reviews and stuff, but I don't really see it that way. I mean, if you're a dedicated fan, I mean, you shouldn't really care who made the movie. I mean, it's just as long as it's good. And I felt like it was decent. Um, I would give it a nine. Yeah, I would say it's definitely a nine. Something that everybody should at least watch at least once. Um, sorry it took me so long to get this review up. Um, it's just been packed full of stuff. Uh, this week I've had way too many things to do, not enough time for myself. Um, I've been running my, my head uh, cut off like a chicken basically everywhere um, 
from one town to another town um, to see a lot of different people for the holiday, for Memorial Day, um, and um, was just really, really busy and uh, was unable to get this uploaded here um, or even filmed, honestly, at this point in time. Um, so the other news that I wanted to quickly talk about is um, I believe that Drizzle Land is going to be expanding because to have everything on this channel, um, I just don't have enough time for everything. So what we're going to be doing, honestly, is we're going to have um, you know a separate channel for sports, uh, wrestling, um, and then that's probably going to be that. And then Drizzle Land, for now on, is going to be the movie reviews, um, and then music and you know fun stuff. Uh, what do you guys think? Um, should I expand? Should I have another channel um, for the wrestling and sports? Um, I might even put the cooking videos on there too, actually, now that I think about it. Um, so is there any suggestions from anybody out there? Um, what should I call the other channel? Um, I can't think of any names right, right now. If you guys have any suggestions, um, let me know. Um, add, subscribe, and I will be back later on. Later, dudes.